has been clear in where we stand on the war in Ukraine. We know that Ukrainians... I'm going to ask colleagues, please. This member is far away on, very far away from the speaker. The speaker would like to hear the member. The Honourable Member from Etobicoke Centre. Mr. Speaker, our government has been clear on where we stand on the war in Ukraine. We understand that Ukrainians are not just fighting for their own freedom and survival, but that they're also fighting for us and that we need to be fighting for them. Non seulement que moi j'ai des difficultés à entendre le not only am I having trouble hearing the Honourable Member for Tobacco Centre when he's asking his question, I see that there are members on the other side of the House who are having trouble hearing the question. I invite the member for Tobacco Centre to restart their question. Mr. Speaker, our government has been clear as to where we stand on the war in Ukraine. We understand that the Ukrainian people are not just fighting for their own freedom and survival, but that they're also fighting for us and that we need to be fighting for them. I'm going to ask uh, the member from Sherwood Park, Fort Saskatchewan, please, to wait his turn to ask a question. I'll also ask the, que the member from Provence to keep, keep it down so that we could have this question asked. The Honourable Member from Etobicoke Centre from the top, please. Mr. Speaker, it is clear where our government stands on Ukraine. We understand that the Ukrainian people are not only fighting for their own freedom and survival, but that they're also fighting for us and that we need to be fighting for them. It is also clear where Conservative MPs stand. Their leader has never advocated for more military, financial or humanitarian support for Ukraine. They voted against the Canada-Ukraine Free Trade Agreement. And yesterday, the leader of the Conservative Party dismissively referred to Ukraine as a far I notice that members will wait until I've actually recognized a member to then start heckling again. I'm, ask, I'm asking once again, please, and if members are going to have the ability to heckle, then I please have the way to identify yourselves who are heckling and not leaning back to try to cover uh, your face from other members so that the speaker can't hear. So I'm going to ask the honourable members to please Allow the member from Etobicoke Centre so that we all can get back to the business of doing the people's work. The Honourable Member from Etobicoke Centre, I regret from the top. Mr. Speaker, our government has been clear as to where we stand on the war in Ukraine. We know that the Ukrainian people are not only fighting for their own freedom and survival, but that they're also fighting for us and that we need to be fighting for them. It is also clear now where Conservative MPs stand. Their leaders never advocated for more military, financial, and humanitarian support for Ukraine. They voted against the Canada-Ukraine Free Trade Agreement, and yesterday, the leader of the Conservative Party referred dismissively to Ukraine as a far-away foreign land. Under this leader, the Conservative Party has abandoned Ukraine. Could the Prime Minister please reassure Canadians that this government will stand with the Ukrainian The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, we really see how much they hate it when we talk about Ukraine. I thank the member for Etobicoke Centre for his leadership in supporting Ukraine. The Conservative Party yet again showed Ukrainians and all Canadians who they really are. When it came time to support military aid to Ukraine, they voted against. When it came time to support Operation Unifier, they voted against. To the Canada-Ukraine Free Trade Agreement twice. They voted against. While the Conservative leader is busy taking talk 
ranking points 